Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm going to be doing a reading for you today. Yes, today. Uh, so we're going to be doing for beautiful Monday morning, fresh week. And yeah, we're going to be looking at what the energies are going to be for today. I do readings twice a day, one in the morning, one at night, and uh, this is for convenience of people who just, you know, might have different schedules. And as well, the first one tends to be like a general view, and then we do a little bit of an extended later on at night. I'm also doing a giveaway until the 23rd of March, so if you want, if you're interested in that, please leave a comment as soon as possible. I'll be taking the first people who comment on this video and putting them in a draw. If you comment more than once, you're in the draw more than once. That's just the way it is. And uh, thank you so much. And, you know, don't feel bad if you're, like, the 25th. Um, you never know what gets into me. I'm Pisces, so I'm unpredictable. I may add you in a draw anyway. So please, just make sure to leave a comment below. Press that like button as well. And make sure to watch the video in entirety. All of that helps my channel. I'm sorry for the annoying ads, but that's what put foods on puts food on my table and I appreciate you so very much for it. We have the ghost dance number 22. So I'm going to take a quick look at what that is right here. Okay. We have the ghost dance of the American Plains Indians united the spirits of the living with those of the ancestors to bring peace to the world. When the ancestors are honored they bring harmony to us when we hold them responsible for all that is wrong with us today, they haunt us. Honor the spirits of the ancestors and receive their lessons and gifts. This includes honoring your own past lives, okay? And they have a message of healing when they bring out this card and powerful med medicine to offer you, okay? And uh, it says... Light a candle to them, let their wisdom infuse you. At this stage in your life, you're done repeating their tragic stories. Nice. Okay. Step into the abundance that is offered to you. Receive the gifts of those that have come before you. And write a new story for your life. And that is exactly where we're at right now, Pisces. We are writing a brand new story in our lives, right? Right. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of more light on this end here so you guys can see. Now, I pulled out uh, Sacred Destiny today. I haven't used these in a while. I have received those, those, uh, those, those uh, gifts from my son. All right, so there is stillness. And this follows a theme of what we've been talking about yesterday, especially for the week. Okay, if you look at this, the stillness, so beautiful. Okay, so you're going to be still this week. Not surprising, not surprising at all. Okay, let's see here. You have the frozen tundra, right. And it says, take a step back from a project, situation, or relationship, even if for just a few moments. Mend bridges, slow down, breathe, be still, go within. Listen to your inner voice. Take time to connect with your spirit guides, ancestors, and spiritual guardians. Listen to your higher self. Timing is everything. This is not a good time to start a new cycle. Wait, incubate, fix things that need fixing. Heal things that need healing. Think things through. Forgive yourself and others. If things seem barren or even bleak, hold on just as the migrating birds find new life in the tundra marshes in the summer. You too will expand once again during the coming thought of your life. So there you go, okay? This is saying the same. These cards are saying the same thing. They say to just hold out and wait out. Plus, I've noticed the one thing that keeps coming back up is the word ancestors. So I feel that they're going to be coming through today to give us a message, obviously, uh, because they figure you need the help, okay? So we're going to be doing that. So let's get an affirmation card. Okay, there you go. 
If cauliflower can somehow become pizza, then you, my friend, can accomplish anything. Now that is funny. Look at that. Okay. So I, I believe that in this very funny affirmation card, it is telling you to take the lighter road ahead with this, okay? Just wait it out. Don't worry about it. It may seem impossible at the moment, but just take your time and let it come through and it will eventually fix itself. You do have the number 22 here. Remember that, okay? All right, so I'm going to take the Guardian to Row. This is a deck I don't use very often, but it's for shadow work, and I figure ancestors are going to be coming through. You have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is very beautiful. I read this deck intuitively, but it says it very soon. You're going to have the energy to start something new. You see, you're on the mend. Spirit is mending you and helping you along, okay? And whatever you're endeavoring to do right now, that is very, very important. Wow. Justice. It comes out even in this deck. Okay, so this is saying that you will be fairly compensated and things will eventually fall in place. Don't worry about it, okay? This is not an end-all and be-all to what's going on with you. It's just a momentary little whoop. The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands talks about blockages, okay? Uh, no, Eight of Wands is not blockages. It's swiftly coming through, okay? Um... If you look at this, though, okay, it's showing that you're still very much linked. You see that above? You're still linked intuitively, okay, to what you need to be doing, okay? So don't, don't worry about it. Even though it may seem, what's coming through is it may seem quiet to you right at the moment. It's not... Uh, it's just your perception of it, okay? Things are still going forward. Things are still moving. Um, you don't have to be afraid that things are going to stop. This isn't a, a major roadblock ahead. It is simply a stop for a moment. You see the Five of Wands? I feel this is you here, okay? Look at how, uh, how depressed she looks. She's looking down at something very depressed. Okay, like things are really not going to be happening, that everything is conflicting, but really and truly everything is okay. Okay, they're just they're just keeping they just keep repeating the same thing. Don't get hung up on this. This is just a momentary stop in a greater evolving of journey that you are on, okay? All right, you have the star. Look at that. Okay, this is all in alignment with you, Pisces. Okay, you're aligning. You see that? You're aligning the wisdom of the owl, the wisdom of your chakras, wisdom of spirit coming through. It's all coming through, and it's going to be giving you the information that you need. Okay? I keep seeing this. If cauliflower can somehow become pizza, then my friend, you can do anything. Okay, this is a whole bunch of clearing. There's Rome wasn't built in a day. That's something else that's coming through my mind. Okay, you're not you're not just doing little work here. You're doing long lasting um, repairs. That's it. You're doing long lasting repairs on things that have been left too long. Um, without, without help. Oh, look at that, the Queen of Cups, you see? And this is you, this is you, that's where you're headed. Look how beautiful she is, okay? The blooms make me feel spring-like. So, even if you feel like this is happening, I feel that by spring, this is be your outlook. You'll be looking probably a lot better, okay? They're telling you that, and spring is not that far off. I mean, I think like mid-March you can start calling it, you know, we're, we're heading right into that. So it's not years and months and months. It's just, it's, it's around the corner for you, Pisces. Things are going to start changing, okay? Yeah, these are all like really happy. 
although the Eight of Swords is not, but here it is, okay? The Eight of Swords, those blocks that I was talking about. You remember when I made a mistake? I said, oh, it's the Eight of Swords. Oh, no, it's the Eight of Wands. This is the block card right here, okay? You see him? Like everything's at odds, everything feels odd, everything feels like like it's not rolling properly, it's not rolling smoothly. Well, this is it. This is what you're feeling. This is this block. But with the Nine of Pentacles, again, I have a very, like, uh, all the birds, all the yellow birds are out. This is very much of a spring feeling to me. Okay, you're going to be feeling a lot more like yourself, a lot happier much more in tune with who you are. With spring comes everything. So all you have to do is just really hold off until that time. I'm going to clarify all of these with spirit, okay? Right, Ten of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Pentacles and then you have the Ten of Pentacles. And they have the Sunflower, which here is at the end of summer. So by the end of summer, you're going to go from a Nine to a Ten. What a fantastic promise of better things ahead. Okay, you really have to take that into account when you're looking at this. That even though right now may feel like you are in a crunch, uh, it's it's not forever. It's not going to last forever, okay? Let me use a light seal here. Okay. Right. It's because this is new. And you have the Page of Swords, okay? Page of Swords is your constant friend. It's also the new ideas, the things that you're looking at. You're just about to take off on something brand new. But the Page of Swords is also that little nagging voice in your mind that's always telling you, wait, stop, what, I don't know, okay? It's the one that kind of throws roadblocks. And they are advising that you take it slow, Okay, they're not advising you to stop completely. They're just telling you to be still for a moment, okay? It's not a complete dead stop. It's just a still moment, okay? With the Ace of Wands. And I feel with this, it's because they are fixing you. And I just realized that those same yellow birds that showed up here with the Nine of Pentacles are repairing you in the Ace of of wands. You're getting reparations. You're getting like major work done. Okay? Things are getting fixed. And you are like just getting ready to take off. Okay? The next steps in this is going to be the poise. Okay? And if you're dealing with past lives, if you're dealing with ancestors, if you're dealing like with sins of the past of people who have who have taught you have their own demons that they're fighting, well, sometimes you end up fighting yours and theirs because they taught you. Okay, nothing wrong in that. It's just the way it is. So you've just got to get over that hurdle, okay, of the way you're thinking to break down a, a, a belief system that was never your own into one that becomes yours, okay? Fairness. Again, you see this? Everything will turn out okay. You have the Two of Cups, and do you notice there's like two cups here, two cups there. This is the scales, but really they look identical, okay? Look at the similarities in here, okay? This is bringing you balance and harmony. It's going to come through. You've just got to trust in the process, Pisces. Okay, things take time. Things take time. Eight of Wands, Swiftness. See, we got that yesterday with the Knight of Swords, the Swiftness card, and it's reminding you that you are still, still connected to Spirit. Don't forget that, okay? And you may want to go fast, but it may be better to just treat this as the new opportunity that it is, okay? And it will take off. You're still connected, okay? You're just in... I feel that this is this is letting me know that you're all excited. The thing is, is that you're still very new, okay? You're new at getting in touch with those part of you that have been lost. Maybe some of you haven't been even in touch with those parts ever. This is your first journey out there. You've got to be kind to yourself, okay? Remember that it's okay, for you to take your time to learn where you need to go, what you need to do in this new journey of yours, okay? You have the Five of Wands here being disappointed. Maybe you're disappointing that it's not fast enough or it's not uh, uh, manifesting 
uh, uh, fast enough, but you have to remember that there's blessings and your blessings are going to come true. This is just a momentary thing. That's what I said, okay? This is just a moment in time. There's nothing for you to be afraid of. Things will change and they will eventually work out in your favor, okay? Look at that. Look how happy you are there, okay? It's not a forever thing. It's just a moment thing. The star card. I love that card. The card always tells me that you have to be your own star. You have to follow your own star. You have to be guided by yourself. Having said that, whatever I say here, um, you don't need to follow anybody. Follow what you, what you feel inside, what it's saying inside of you. Make sure to follow that, okay? You are your very own guru. You have your own teacher inside of you. You have your own guides waiting and willing to help you. Okay? All you have to do is meditate, journal, write things down. You'll find, um, how does it feel? Okay, so I'm going to tell you how it feels. It's thoughts that come from nowhere. Okay? You always think, oh, I had an epiphany or, or it just came to me. Um... Mm, where do you think it comes from? There you go, okay? So if you sit there with a pen and you start writing about anything, anything that's crossing your mind, and you can be forcing it, you can be going, okay, you know, I took the dog for a walk today, da 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 da. And then suddenly things start coming through. Things that don't really have a shape or form or a reason. Those are messages, okay? This is this is you talking to you. This is you in communication with that teacher, that inner guide, that hierophant card. Look at that. I love it when they do that. This is telling you, look, okay? Things are going to be okay. You just got to confer with yourself and your guides. They're right up there. Okay, when you meditate, I always walk up a long flight of stairs to meet them. So this is also a sign for you to go and meditate and then go meet up with people. When you get on top of the stairs when you meditate, imagine somebody being there. Whoever that is and whatever name you hear first, that is your guide. And that is exciting, okay? That is exciting. Don't force it. Just let it happen. And trust me, you're going to get communication. They're waiting for you. Okay? All right. You have the Queen of Cups with the Eight of Cups. Lovely. Eight of Cups. Walking away from all of that behind. All it Right now, it looks to me like a muddy bed of, of whatever. And the road that you're traveling here... It's not going to make you feel stuck anymore. This feels like stuck mud. It feels like you'd be walking in here and your feet would be stuck. You know that kind of mud that when you have rubber boots, your boots get sucked into it and then your foot comes. This is, this is it. This is your past, okay? That's done. You're walking towards your spring. You're walking towards your sunshine. We're also walking towards longer days. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, it will feel very good, okay? So... There you go. The Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Block. Feeling block. Right. Ten of Pentacles. Second time. Double cards. Comes out twice. Eight of Swords. Again. They did it with the Nine of Cups. Okay. The Nine of Cups with the... Uh, with... Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> with the Five of Wands. Right. They did it with the Five of Wands. They did it with the Eight of Swords as well, where you're feeling blocked. This is temporary. Okay? Your pentacles are coming in. Your happiness, your abundance, everything that you wish for, it's coming in. This is just a temporary thing. This is a temporary feeling out of sorts, okay? There's something to look at. There's something to look further into. Do the work. Do the work. Uh, go inside yourself, okay? Ask your guides. Don't be confused. There's no confusion. There's just questions and answers. Okay? Right. You have the Five of Pentacles. Again, them reminding me that you have the key to your happiness. You do. Look at that. The key's leaning right by that door. You have a way out. You do. 
Okay, you may be thinking about it right now. You may be thinking about, oh, what do I do with that? How do I fix that? But once you're done, pick up that key, put the key in the door, and get the heck out of there, and go towards your happiness. Okay? All right. You have the Ten of Pentacles. That's the last card here. Right. Seven of Pentacles. You already got this uh, yesterday. This is a card letting you know that you have to be um, paying attention to what you're doing, okay? There's a period of assessment in everything. Even when even people who have made a ton of money or have, have gone after their happiness, they have gone through periods of figuring out what works and what doesn't work, okay? This isn't different from you, even if your spiritual journey is that of such. There is a, in this linear time, in this linear world, in this human world, we have certain things that we need to do to get to where we need to go to align, okay? We have figured that out before we come here. We have given ourselves that chore, if you want, that contract to fulfill. So it isn't anything that spectacular, okay? It is something that is just normally normal for us, okay? I'm going to look here and grab. Sorry for doing that, but I have my new separators here and I have one right here. I'm going to take from the soul's journey, right, acceptance. I love this, okay. I'm going to put that there, here. Oh, I wanted to show you guys as well. My son also, he got me separators for my cards that I can put up on the wall pockets. And he also got me this. Look at that. That is the Northern Lights. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's a, like a, a caddy, so for the decks that I use in the day, I can just put them in here. And just, I, you don't see it because it's just out of shot, but it is very much right there for me. I'm so grateful, so grateful. I have such good, good guys, good guys. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. So this temporary thing, okay, this may be a thing that you just can't change right now. But it doesn't mean that it won't, okay? It says right now, and I love the way it starts with right now, okay? Like I said, maybe right now. Your soul is learning acceptance. This may force you to feel out of control in a situation or with another person in your life. Just realize that the universe is giving you this incredible opportunity to release control. Release control. Where is that for? Where is that for? Didn't we see that for? We had four of pentacles yesterday, okay? So this is release control. Okay. Perhaps doing so will help you realize that there's a rhythm, a rhythm, a reason to everything in life. Rather than thinking that these are accidents that are occurring, refer to these con conditions as moment of divine design. <gasps> Profound. Divine design. You're going through a moment of divine design, Pisces. Don't worry about it. Maybe it is a person or a situation that you do not agree with right now. For the moment, instead of having a knee-jerk reaction based on an emotional response, stop, step back, observe, and make an attempt to understand both sides of the equation, which is an incredible gift for you to practice tolerance, grace, and patience. Realize that although you have come to accept okay, a situation or a condition... It doesn't necessarily mean that you're condoning a behavior that you support it. You see it for what it is and recognize that there's something rich to learn from it. That's exactly what I was saying yesterday, okay? But they say it in a lot better terms in a book. But it's okay, okay? I don't mind repeating it. I would like to point out the colors. There's purple. I may not have to put my thumbnail purple, or maybe I may have to. I'm just going to hold it here for a minute. There you go. All right. So there you go. Beautiful. Except right now that things may not be moving at the pace that you want. There's something for you to tolerate, to learn, to see, to observe anything. All, uh, everything or all of that may apply to you. Just, you know, hold on. 
I hope that these messages, the ones that I send, they at least make sense to you so that the ones who are feeling a little bit out of sorts right now, you're feeling like, oh, why are this? And you see this and you're going, oh, okay, I need to sit back, relax, and kind of just take a look, okay? Take a look, see what's going on, okay? It's funny that this comes in after the Mercury retrograde, but you never know, okay? The cosmos and the universe has plans for all of us in very different ways. So Pisces, just be careful, take your time. And this is the morning reading. I will do another one later. Uh, please make sure to watch that because I'm going to extend on this. I'm going to ask Spirit to go even further into this for you. Although I really don't know how they're going to do that. And I always say that and they always manage to throw in something brand new in there. Something that helps you along. So I hope you enjoy these. Uh, lots of love, lots of light, lots of blessings to you Pisces. Take good care of yourself and stay safe.